We as a physics group working with working with in the soft system sector as a physics for medicine building in Cavendish laboratories. Our project was to explore DNA uses as a material component. DNA is a molecule which contains our genetic information. Two strands of DNA are joined together by complementary base pairs. These base pairs are adenine, guanine, thymine and cytosine. The base pairs are complementary and so adenine always binds with thymine and cytosine always binds with guanine. On the first day we studied DNA coated colloids. This is where uh, the DNA is bound to the colloid by, a, by biotin with an avidin spacer as shown in the little diagram. When the colloidal system is cooled, uh, the complementary strands of DNA bind together and aggregate. By ensuring some of our colloids were fluorescent, we were able to observe the aggregation and disaggregation of the colloids, which were only a few microns in diameter, using various methods of microscopy, some of which are shown on the slide. If the colloid system is heated to any temperature below 100 uh, centigrade, the colloid is disintegrated. As the temperature breaks, the hydrogen bonds between the DNA base pairs. If the temperature is increased to above 100 centigrade, then the colloidal system is disrupted. The water surrounding the particle evaporates. DNA coded colloids can form defect weak photonic crystals. These optical nanostructures control and manipulate the flow of photons. photons. These crystals have many uses, including reflection coatings on lenses, perfect mirrors, and optical computers. Atomic force microscopy uses a probe to detect matter on a nanoscale. <coughs> The probe measures any elevations on a microslide due to the presence of DNA. This is done by the reflection of a laser of the cantilever as shown in the diagram. If the surface is raised, the reflected angle change, which is shown as a color change on the image produced. On the left is the DNA we imaged using AFM. The scale indicates the height of the DNA sample from the surface of the slide. The sample is made up of Lombardo phage DNA digested by a restriction enzyme into sections between 500 and 10,000 bases. Our sample is not as clear as the one on the right due to excess noise from dust particles and vibrations. Now the our new method of sensing biomolecules such as DNA. It works by a small channel of a few nanometers in size which separates two salt solutions. When the voltage is applied across the nanopore changes in current are measured as DNA moves through. We analyzed the data measuring current against time. This showed when the DNA passed through the capillary tube and if one, two or three single strands of DNA passed through at one time. Um, the graph on the left is before the DNA passed into the nanopore and the graph on the right contains the changes in current when the DNA passes through. The light graph shows some individual events with each current change value being different number of DNA stands passing through the pore. The final graph shows the frequency of events with no change being the first spike. One stand passing through is represented by the second spike and so on. Here is a video showing what happens as the negatively charged DNA is attracted towards the positive electrode through the glass nanopore. The DNA has been stained with a dye in order to be seen and each DNA molecule is 48,000 base pairs long. Uh, this has been taken by a high resolution camera in <coughs> real time. Nanopores have many uses, including measuring the length of a DNA molecule, determining the identity of individual base pairs, and genome sequencing. Companies like Oxford Nanopore Technologies have created 
miniature sensing devices can analyze biomolecules. DNA origami is the nanoscale folding of DNA in order to construct shapes. This is done by adding shorter strands of DNA that are complementary to a single strand of longer DNA. The shorter staple strands form a double helix with the longer strand, and this interaction causes the molecule to fold and form shapes around 100 nanometers in size. For many scientists, the ability to manipulate such tiny molecules is incredibly exciting, as it has many applications, including aiding the delivery of cancer drugs to specific areas of the body. <coughs> uh, <laughs> okay.